Hi guys, VST here, Venice Peace Tech. Welcome back on my channel. Yet another video for a very nice Samsung application called the Sound Assistant. And by the way, you can already notice I'm using here not the usual gestures, but I've included the buttons. Some of the users was asking me, hey, how are the buttons working in 1830? Apparently there was a bug there. I tested everything and it pretty much seems that it is okay. So I will use the buttons throughout the whole video just to make the point that it works. And what are actually the changes today? I hit today the Galaxy Store and I saw that there are some important updates. The first update is apparently on the game booster. Apparently right now you can show the time and the date on the screen touch lock. But then I saw that there was also an update to the sound assistant. And sound assistant is actually an extremely useful application that can make your life easier when you know how to use it and that is why i decided to make this video but first of course i'm gonna update all and then of course i'm gonna show you guys what sound assistant can do for you what is the best way for you to use it what use case scenarios there are and of course what are some of the best settings you can directly use to enhance your experience with the phone all right so memorize this sound assistant might be not familiar to you so let's open the application. I go here, you can look for Sound Assistant. Once you open Sound Assistant, you can see there are really a lot of settings. And let me walk it through so that we avoid confusion. Click here, just check the version. Version 3, 5.13, one year version 3.0, so it's the latest version indeed. Okay, the first thing that you can see is scenarios. You can apparently use different scenarios when you're at home and work and sleep. Let's not go there for now. Let's concentrate here on all the other options below. So we see that there are options for the volume, for controlling the audio, and then applying some sound quality effects and advanced settings. And we're gonna be starting actually with the very first thing here, which are the volume settings. When I click my volume rocker, I get the standard setting that you know you can use from 1830, which is pretty much straightforward, right? And a lot of people already like it. What happens when I press the volume panel theme and I set it to on, guys, right? So first thing you see, it goes to on. Now when I press it, I get another style of the volume, right? And I'm gonna go into more details, but what is also important for you to know when you go inside, you can see that you can apparently choose the volume panel themes. So right now I'm using the zero one, which provides a vertical volume panel with an up volume controller, right? And you can navigate around and I'm going to show all of that to you, but there is also the classic one, right? So remember 1UI 2.5, 1UI 2, right? This really rings some bells, right? So it's not all lost. If you do prefer to have this standard volume rocker from 1UI 2, that you can do this by using the classic volume panel thing. All right, let's go back to Siri, guys. And I just want to show you some things. When you go to Siri, apparently you can control the same things, but then you have also access to your equalizer and you have also access to some of your presets. And I'm going to explore this in a bit more details. See also there is the layer option. So right now it's right, but you can also go and put it to the left. So you wanna have it on the left or on the right, no problem. You can do this straight ahead from the volume panel theme and also choose the color. So this is kind of like the standard colors. Boom, let's go for those or for those or for those. Right now for the sake of the video, I'm gonna use that one and I'm gonna go back to the right. So showing you guys new colors here, everything on the right, all right? So volume panel theme, first step, very important. Now there is something that a lot of people are annoyed when I'm gonna switch this off and I want to control the sound, every time I do control the sound, you can see that I'm in fact controlling the volume of my ringtone, right? And some people are not happy with this. So if you want to regulate the volume of an application playing, you need to go into the expanded version and control it. But the option to control the media volume gives you this other option. So if I hit this on guys and I start manipulating here with the physical buttons, you can see that I'm controlling right now the media volume and not the ringtone. So let me just extend this, you see right now this is the the volume of the media it's playing and you have here the ringtone on the left and this is really extremely useful if you're a person that want to get these things around right so if you want to control the media volume instead of the ringtone volume directly from the keys of your phone this option is for you now for the sake of my review i'm going to switch back to the volume panel theme off i want to show you one of the greatest options inside the sound assistant it's called the individual app volumes it says it right there you can control the volume of each app so when you hit here guys you can apparently go to the plus sign here and you can choose individual applications installed on your phone for which you want to control the sound separately. And right now for the sake of the test, I've included here Spotify and included YouTube. So let me open something in Spotify. I'm just opening Spotify, starting to play something, all right? 
And we can do the same in YouTube. I'm gonna open a video in YouTube. Let's start a play it, right? And when I go here, guys, into the individual volume, you can right now see I have individual slider for YouTube, right? And also for Spotify. I'm playing the YouTube video. I can now manipulate the sound of these two individually. So you see? It is really, really very, very good. And you can tweak this up so you can add more application if you choose to do so, right? So you're not limited by these two. If you want to control the individual alt volumes, then this is the best place to start, all right? After that, we have something called the floating button and hold tight, this is really very interesting. It can show the sound assistant button on your home screen, right? And there are, of course, options to customize it because why not? It's Samsung, right? They give you almost everything. When you hit it, guys, right? You see here three seconds, but let me just show you what it is before I show you the settings. When I hit here the volume rocker, I have here this floating widget, boom, it's gonna disappear in three seconds. Hit again the volume rocker and I can click on this one and I can immediately get some more settings. So I can extend the volume for the Spotify, can extend my other app volume. I can go here, you know, into the equalizer and choose some settings and when I close it up, it's gonna go away. When I go back into the sound assistant and I click on it, I can choose how many seconds it should stay on the screen and you can also make it always visible. So if you like that button there, if you want to keep this widget, it's a small one, you can keep it forever on your screen. Change step volume, guys. This is really, really important. It kind of allows you to tweak the media slider. So this is really allowing you to change the rate at which the volume is changed when you press and manipulate it. All right, and then we enter the sections called Control Audio. There are plenty of good things there, one of which is called Multisound. And it actually allows you to have some apps playing audio at the same time as other apps. So if you enable that one, right, you need to go inside, select, and then you need to select from some of your applications two apps to simultaneously run with sound, right? And I'm not sure that a lot of phones can do this. I mean, I've just seen this here in One UI 3.0, which is really great. And also, of course, in the One UI 2. So it's pretty much something that Samsung implemented. But hey, notice this one here, separate app sound. This here is even better. And why? Because this allows you to play media sound from one app on a different audio device. So what is the use case for this particular scenario? If you connected your phone to your headphones, you know, you can listen to some music on your headphones while your kid can play a game on the phone and you'll not hear this in your headphones and the kid will not hear your music. Again, you need to add the applications, be it a game or Spotify or Mixed Love or whatever you want, right? But this really represents a very nice option for you to use the device in some ways not possible for other devices. This here is the separate app sound, okay? Two more to go, right? Sound quality and effects. So you can customize the equalizer here. We have a lot of bands. You can go from normal, pop, classic. There are some settings, right? If you connect headphones to your phone, you also are gonna be able to use the UHE Ultra High Quality Upscaler with enhance the quality of the sound. And of course, apply some of the sound effects, right? Concert hall, and of course, Dolby Atmos, right? Then don't forget to click here also on the more options. More options, Dolby Atmos can be set to auto or to movie, to music, to voice. Now, my recommendation is keep it auto because then the phone optimizes it every time you use it for a game or play a movie or a video, right? When you go back, right, there is also something called adapt sound. When you go inside, you're gonna get the option to tweak and adapt the sound for you. Right, now I have to admit I have to click here. <laughs> but then you can also go and customize it, right? So you see, when you hit this adaptation, you can see really what happens when the adapt sound is turned on and off, right? And if you wanna test this, guys, you need to connect your headphones. It's not gonna work, of course, without headphones, right? But it's a very nice way to tweak your phone to serve you the best, okay? So when I go back, guys, I'm gonna go to something called advanced settings. And when we hit advanced settings, you're gonna find a lot, a lot, a lot of options. First thing is mono audio. So you can switch the output from the phone from stereo to mono. Why not? Of course, if you wanna do so, you can do so, right? Then you have the favorite media app. It allows you to play and control music when you press multimedia case on your connected headphones, Bluetooth device, and etc. Also very customizable. You can control music with your volume keys. So press and hold the volume keys to go to the next or previous track when the screen is locked or turned off. So giving you some enhanced options to control your experience with media playback. Selfie stick, people out there using selfie sticks you can play and record sound using your phone speakers and microphone when a selfie stick is plugged in. And of course you need to switch this on, right? Alerts through headphones, notifications, but you can skip them, right? And you can go inside and choose what alerts you wanna hear through your headphones, ringtone, alarms, notification, none, right? Reverse stereo, 
it can actually swap the channel so that the right stereo channel is going to become the left and the left is going to become the right. And then you have also the left and right sound balance, guys. And I'm just thinking, is there any other mobile operating system, right? Not even the efficient one that can do so. Perhaps you could do so with some custom ROMs and of course a lot of mods and optimizations. But what we have here from Samsung in the sound system is really nothing but brilliant. So really hope that you have enjoyed this video, guys. If that's the case, you might want to subscribe to my channel and we're gonna catch up in one of my next videos. Until that, please stay safe. VST over and bye.